Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, oh and then Doris is funny. <laughs> Never bothered about what could be coming Every day we danced and life was smiling We were young and drunk in love Oh, I got you, there's no reason to Chasing pavement on my own Cause you're here to stay every night Here he comes. Oh wait, no, he went back. Come on, Emu. Emu! Come on, right here, look, we're over here. Come here! <laughs> He's hiding under the trampoline now. Oh, here he comes. He doesn't remember eating out of this thing anymore. He doesn't. Turkeys are very intelligent. <laughs> yes. Come on, dingle dog. Take Emu, him you are smart. Don't let anybody tell you different. <laughs> There you go. Hello. She still loves the crack. Uh oh. Did you should have seen that. He just walked under Willow. Don't be. Don't be. Oh really? So bad. Oh. You don't get the balance. Oh. Dang, Here George. Comes Fred. Oh. <laughs> and he's like, yeah. Oh, and then Doris is funny. He's like, get in there. He's <laughs> like, stay. <laughs> oh, gosh. He ate like all of it. Jeez, Louise. The current theory is that Emu's eating all the food, but I don't believe it because he never ate a ton of food. I doubt he's eating a ton right now. A gopher or birds are coming through. His crop feels like um, empty. Birds come through the emu hole and eat it all probably. Yeah, that's a good way to see if he's eating too much, fill his crop. I did, it was empty. Yeah, I was just saying, yeah, it's empty. So he's not, really don't think he's a big not eater. Him. I think either a goat is reaching in. Somehow a goat. Gopher or a or birds. Birds, birds, birds are coming in there and eating. Let's do an update on your Lydia, awesome feeder. <laughs> well, I broke this off. Oh, okay. <laughs> on purpose? Because <laughs> they needed to be able to get to the edges. Okay. But it looks like they are eating, but we are gonna make an adjustment. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're gonna go this way. This way. Oh. What do you think about that? What's the reasoning behind this adjustment? I think this adjustment is so that they can eat it better. Oh, so they don't have to turn their heads. Uh -huh. oh. No, I was kind of worried when somebody said it might hurt their noses. Lots of people are all worried noses. that they need big openings like this. Yeah. But I kind of that, agree though, Kevin. That makes it all fall out. That's okay. Oh, and lots of people had questions on um, how are they going to get to it once they eat it. See, they keep pushing this. It keeps pushing in, and so that they can keep reaching it. All right. Well, I'm going to be checking their noses though. <laughs> if there's any sign. Luna there. has a um, weird mark on her stress. nose. Look where there's there's no hair. Oh yeah, she does have that weird mark. She always has that mark. No. Has she though? <laughs> has she? <laughs> Ouch. Luna. She would have the mark on the sides. On the sides. On the sides. <laughs> hmm. Oh look, see how well this works? Boom. Oh. Oh. Luna, you're so mean. And see as they push, the grate gets closer to the hay. That's okay. what people don't understand. They're like, oh, but what happens when they eat it, you know? They keep pushing it with their feet like this and then take closer to this. All right, we'll see. <laughs> there definitely hasn't been very much waste with it. Oh, that's true. I haven't seen any, like look at on the ground, how yeah. there's hardly any. Yeah, that's true, there's not much waste. Yeah, guys, Kevin's still wearing those shoes, so. Still working so far. Yeah, so there's definitely no waste, but at what cost? Perfect. 
All right, you better not be hurting didn't my goat's drop noses. A drop of it. Yeah, she didn't drop any. Okay, now. But maybe it just needs to be a little bit bigger. All right, Lydia, let's test your driving skills. Ready, go. Well, sometimes it doesn't fire up. It is the engine of her. Do I do both of them? I don't know. Go for it. Dad, which one do I flip to turn off? Okay. Work. Go. Push Dad, it, push it all the way down. Oh, that's go. scary. I don't want to do jerk off. It won't. It's going to. It's gonna scare me. No, it won't. Go. Has to warm up. Keep going. Keep going. Go. I Dad, I'm pressing it. <laughs> Where did she go? Oh, Kevin, you and your TV box. That's okay. Here, here, let Dad ride on the back. Okay. Mom, I don't. <laughs> Not her. <laughs> I don't want to go faster than all the Hold on. Are ready? Get that pig out of there. No, it's not as fast as it goes, but that's how fast we're allowed to go before it gets scary. I'm getting like fumes. Uh oh. Oh, we need more boxes. Okay, we'll get off here to see how fast. Time to buy another TV. <laughs> I know it seems crazy. We only have six weeks until the baby goats are coming. That's not very long. And I feel like there's so much to get done. The winter time in Arizona is definitely like a time to hustle and get stuff done, especially when you have a farm like us. And the problem is I just feel like there's not enough hours in the day to get everything done that I wanna get done. The garden has kind of fallen to the wayside a little bit. I am so late on planting stuff but I just don't have enough time to get it all done. The good news is the carrots have just started to come up and it looks like they're all happy. My lettuces and kale have all started to come up as well. But I'm torn between working on garden stuff and working on animal area stuff to get ready for the baby goats. Today's project is we are going to work on the bin a little bit more. We have a few last things to finish here. We've lacquered everything so it has this nice protective sheen on it, but this bin right here, this is the one where we're gonna store our chaff hay. Chaff hay is like a fermented hay for goats and the problem is it's wet. So we are going to line this, I think with like a plastic. Um, we're gonna cut it and then we're gonna caulk the edges so that we don't have to worry about mold or wood that's rotting or anything like that. We're still waiting on the concrete pour for this area. The company we went with has a really busy schedule right now. We're hoping this week we can get that done and then we'll have the animal area almost complete. I think they're almost ready. This is our first year that we've ever had oranges, so I'm excited to try them. It's kind of a tiny tree, and I probably should have picked off the flowers, but I don't care. I think just like a couple weeks, and then we can pick these oranges. Okay, are you ready to see your surprise? Sure. Two oranges, just for you. That's perfect. Ethan's stocking and Lydia's stocking. That's all we need. <laughs> We're done. We don't even need to buy any Christmas presents. Okay, what's the plan, Stan? All they have is white and Lowe's, so... Okay. On That's Amazon, okay. It be I white. saw some clear, and then you could keep the kind of wood color, you know? Oh, okay. So... But it would just be the inside of that. I don't know if that would be too big of a deal. You don't care? As long as you promise you're never going to change your mind, then we're good. I might change my mind. Oh, then we're good. I think I already have. I think I just changed my okay, mind. Then <laughs> okay, then let's change it to clear. All right. It would probably look better yeah. to have it clear. 
Probably. the shelf it's pretty cool the only thing is I need bins to put in the bins more bins <laughs> yeah. I need like baskets to go in a each one there yep and a bin on top of that bin yes bin, bin, bin. <laughs> yep exactly and then one giant bin to put the whole thing in yeah exactly yeah. Well guys, um, the tilapia haven't gotten much bigger and I think it's because when we feed the fish, the goldfish and the koi are a lot more dominant than the tilapia and they eat all the food. So I think we either need to accept the fact that it'll take forever for tilapia to grow to full weight or we just get rid of the koi and the goldfish and we stick with just growing tilapia in the pond. I think we're gonna wait till the spring to make a final decision, but shoot us any ideas if you have them because these tilapia aren't really getting the food that is meant for them. Wait, that one right there at the bottom looks really big. You guys see that? I'm gonna try to get really close. Do you see that right there? Right in the middle? He's pretty big. I made your favorite dish in the entire world. As always. Mm-hmm. Stroganoff. Oh, that is my favorite. Yep. And I overcooked the asparagus, so oh, okay. you're gonna have to chew a little bit harder, but Good. you'll be fine. I'm I will. So I want you to tell me if you guys eat stroganoff and if you put mushrooms in it. Kevin grew up without the mushrooms, but I mean, they're a must, right? Right? All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you later. Bye.